Brandon. I'm going to be a senior at the University of Georgia. Um, yeah, good dogs, good dogs. Um, so, um, like a lot of y'all, I grew up in a classic Christian home, went to a tiny private Christian school. Um, honestly, I loved it. I was in such my little comfort zone. I uh, accepted Christ when I was about six years old. Uh, everyone in my family was a Christian. Honestly, honestly, I was just completely surrounded by Christians. And, like, I loved it. It was great. And then, um, so I feel like I kind of just went through the motions all through high school. And then I had so much head knowledge because, like, I was spending time reading the Bible every day, but it was like in my Bible class at school. And so it was kind of like I was forced to. Like I never really did it because I wanted to. And so kind of just went through the motions all through high school. Um, but I was like, super legalistic and I was like, I'm not doing big three. I'm not drinking, having sex, or doing drugs, so I'm good. Um, and so then kind of got to senior year of high school. And my youth pastor did a series called Under Construction. And so this is kind of the first time that. Um, I feel like Lord just really spoke to me, and I understood that like it's not um, just about saying prayer and then going to heaven. It's all about uh, knowing more about the Lord when you go to bed than you did when you woke up that morning. Um, so that really spoke to me. But at the same time, he would always say, "I really wish someone would have told me this when I was raised." Um, and so I heard that, and I was like, "Okay, but you turned out fine. Like you're the pastor now. So like I'll just get serious about my faith and like become one of those people that shares my faith like later down the road. I have unlimited time here." Um, and then senior year, he suddenly passed away of a heart attack. And so that kind of just really um, just kind of like shook my world. And I was just like, what? Like, why would you take him? But it also just helped me realize that, like, I do have a limited time on this earth. And, like, the Lord does not promise me another day here. And so that kind of just really, um, like, sparked my faith in one and made me um, just really stop pushing it off and wanting it to be on the forefront and um, just have the gospel be part of every part of my life. And so, um, that I feel like it was the first time where I actually understood like what it meant to have a personal relationship with the Lord and how it's all about uh, like you can do the good things like go to church and, and be involved in youth group like all those things are so great and you can grow a lot in those ways but just how the most important thing um, personally I think is spending time with Him um, and praying to Him like, and uh, growing and learning more about Him like on your own. Um, so that was the first time I kind of started doing that instead of translating to college, went to University of Georgia. Um, Youth school was super scared of it and everything um, that came along with it. Um, Rush Tridel and honestly hated it at first. Um, I wanted to drop like every day I was in it. I was like, these girls are crazy. Like I'm not liking it at all. And so I kind of just ran in the opposite direction, which I'm thankful for that I didn't get sucked into the party scene, but I just completely isolated myself from it. I was super judgmental and I didn't want to be around them at all. I, um, like I said, I almost dropped so many times, but I. Um, because my older sister really encouraged me to stay in it, but I still just completely isolated myself and um, got really involved in career, which I was super thankful for. But if you go to career very long, you realize that they're all about um, missions and doing ministry. And so um, the Lord kind of spoke to my heart that way, and I heard about Great Summit, and I was like, why not go to two weeks to the beach? Like, I guess if I'm going to be a Christian, like, I feel, I kind of felt obligated to do ministry. So I was like, okay, I'll go to Great Summit. Like, I'll probably learn a little bit, but honestly, like, it won't really have a huge impact on my life. So that's kind of the attitude I had coming in. And um, it's just so cool to see the Lord work and He completely um, changed my life from 180. And I, um, my heart just like broke for the girls who tried out for the first time. And um, I just really, the Lord just like gave me a fiery passion for like wanting to be involved in tried out and wanting to um, share my faith with the girls. And this is just such a cool thing because like you are, you feel so equipped when you leave here and you should, um, learn so much and care so much in your own faith. Um, so that was, I came here after freshman year, and then um, so sophomore year, living in the house, um, really loved it. It kind of just spent that year, um, like climbing out of the hole that I had dug of not being friends with the girls. And so I just built friendships with the girls and um, just tried to love on them and show them God's love. Um, but I was still super timid and sharing my faith. Um, and so I just wanted to grow more, so I decided to go to East Asia last summer. Um, Jay Fox was there too. And um, went to East Asia and just had an awesome team, got really close with them. And um, I don't know, just realized how much I took the gospel for granted here because, um, like, it's illegal to share the gospel there. And so, um, I don't know, just being able to share the gospel every day with these students and just, like, see their faces light up when you told them that the Lord loved them. And they're like, what? Like, they just, like, we're hearing it for the first time. And I was like, we take such advantage of that here because we're, like, fed it with the student, like, every day. Um, and so I don't know, that just really gave me even a bigger passion for wanting to come back to UGA and to share my faith even more. Um, 
and just also like wanted me to I wanted to be even more involved to try it out so I for exec um, just became like as involved as possible because like um, I feel like that's the best way to like, share your faith is like relationally and so um, like sharing your faith to them because you show them how much you love them and you're like this has had such an impact on me and I love you so much that I want to share this with you. Um, so I know that's just been really cool, it's still been really hard and then um, I'm about to be a senior there but I just wanted to come back to your summit and um, just kind of share that with y'all and also just grow even more in my own faith and um, just really encourage y'all to uh, just not take advantage of the time that the Lord has uh, given us and just to not put off your faith because um, like we're not promised another day here and so uh, just to act and uh, remember that our days are limited here and to have that eternal perspective uh, and just something it's funny but one of the big impacts that I have on me at Greek Summit Jay was talking about yesterday just is your comfort more important than someone's salvation if you really remind yourself of that every day and think about that like no, like, it's okay if it's going to be uncomfortable. Like, but if you show them, like, they're doing it out of love and how much you love them, like, I don't know, just the Lord is going to be able to work um, and move them. So I just really encourage you all to, um, I don't know, just be bold um, on your own campuses and just realize, like, like think of all, there's a hundred of us here. I don't know, just, like, really be encouraged that we're all in this together and um, just continue to preach yourself the gospel every day. Um, so, yeah, that's